It got in the sausage inspector. It got in his sister. Edith lived in a very funny little house at the end of a narrow little alley. Edgar loved Edith and tried to make her happy every day. One day, Edith was feeling particularly hungry. So Edgar went to get something special for dinner. It wasn't long before he spotted Edith's favorite thing and a string of a nice string of sausages. Sausages. Edith loved sausages. Edgar. Edgar hurried home, feeling very pleased with himself. But then a lot of voice said Hold it right there. A rat in a hat was blocking the way. I am the inspector. He declared I inspect things. I need to look in that bag. Edgar had never met the, ins the inspector before. The rat looked very important and he was wearing a hat. So Edgar let the inspector look inside. Just as I suspected. He nodded. Bad sausages. I must take them away at once for further inspection. The rat snatched the sausages and ran off. Squeezing through a hole in the wall. Edgar and Edith had to make do with dry crackers for dinner that night. Crackers for dinner at night that night. Edith could hardly believe it. Edith could hardly believe it. You say a rat took our sausages, she said. He looked important, said Edgar. He was wearing a hat. The next day, Edgar decided to make up for loss to losing for losing the sausage sausages for something delightful or for Edith from the patisserie. She would be thrilled, he thought. But when he turned back down the alley, hold it right there. Boomed a, a familiar voice. It was the inspector again. This time, the, inspe the inspector had a head and a badge. He looked very important and decidedly, decidedly, deadly, tamper than before. I was right about the sausages, he said. They were, mmm, bad. Are those, ki are those kicks? Asked the inspector. I've heard, heard reports about bad cakes. I'd better inspect them. Inspect them. Hand them. Hand them over. But they are my cakes," said Edgar. No complaining," said the inspector. "I've got a hat and the badge. You'd better do as you're told." Edgar was miserably as the inspector grabbed the cakes and squeezed. Threw a hole in the wall. He tried home with empty paws. Edith was not thrilled. That rat took our cakes too. He had a hat and a badge, said Edgar. That night, Edith ate a jar, jar of pickles. Edgar had a lump stick of celery. He suddenly rumbled like a monster all night long. The next day, Edith was ravenous. She told Edgar she wanted cakes. Sausages, cheese, ice cream, and those sorts of nice things. Edgar was determined to take no feet. His basket was heavy as he trundled down the alley. He couldn't wait to show Edith. But, hold it right there. The inspector, the inspector blocked away. This time, he had a hat, a badge, and a notebook. Which which rested against the against his his belly. He looked extremely important and very pleased with himself. He, I was right about the sausages. I was right about the cakes. They were mmm 
Mmm. Bad. He sniffed Edgar's basket, licked his gloves, and put a big tick in his notebook. Just as I suspected, all this food is very bad indeed. It is my officer duty to take it all. He seized the basket and started to pull it down the alley, but Edgar had had enough. Hold it, right there, shouted Edgar. Edgar snatched the basket back, sending out everything tumbling to the ground. The, uh, the inspector filled his paws with, with whatever he could and made for the hole in the fence. But the rat was now so fat, he could hardly run. Stop! yelled Edgar, chasing the cheeky little, fat little juicy, juicy looking rat as he waddled rather deliciously away, puffing and puffing, the inspector. The inspector tried to squeeze himself through the hole in the fence, through the hole in the fence. But he was far too fat and far too slow, and Edgar was right behind him. That evening, that evening, I did uh, dined like a queen. Oh, Edgar! You have spoiled me. What a delicious feast. But Edgar wasn't hungry. Whatever is the matter? Asked Addis. Where is your appetite? Have you been eating between meals? Edgar smiled at secret smile, straightened his hat and polished the his bed. Then he put a big tick in his notebook. Yes. I did have a ticky. I did have a ticky. Did something earlier. He smiled. It was very fat and juicy. And just as I suspected, it was. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Bad.